Welcome back, guys, to our Final Fantasy IV Cecil Solo run. We are now in the Antlion's Cave. As you may have noticed, all the treasure chests are empty and everything. It's because I ran through and got them all already. So it's just a straightforward path to the boss. Just run from these guys. I got an item from one of the treasure chests called Exit, which, as you may have guessed, automatically takes you out of the dungeon. This is pretty much the only dungeon where it would be useful, too. Because any other place we'd ever have to exit out of, we'll have the spell. So we don't really need the item, so yeah. It's still convenient. Oh my goodness, come on guys. Oh man. Random encounters go away. Okay, here we go. This is where the antlion lays its eggs. Ah, it's okay. Antlions are quite tame. They don't attack people. Here, I'll demonstrate by getting the sand ruby. Whoa! Let's go, Rydia. Yeah, let's get him. Alright, every time you hit the antlion, he'll counterattack. But there's not really much else that you can do, plus his counterattack it usually does between 25 and 30 damage. His normal physical attack does really low damage, so the big amount of damage you'll be taking in this battle is going to be coming from his counter attack. Which even then, if you've leveled up like I have, that's not even a threat. Especially since right after we defeat the antlion, we're just going to exit out of the cave and go right back to Capo using the hovercraft, so no more random encounters. So our health really isn't an issue right now. So yeah, just keep on attacking the antlion. Shouldn't have very much more to him. Yeah, like I said, he'll counterattack every time you hit him. If you use magic on him or something like if Rydia was still alive, you could summon the Chocobo or cast black magic on it without it counterattacking. So it only counterattacks physical damage. Receive the sand ruby. How could this happen? They've always been so harmless. Monsters are rapidly multiplying these days and their behavior is changing as well. I just don't know why. Come on, let's go help Rosa. Yeah. Alright, time to go to our items and exit out of here. Back to Kaipo. Kaipo, however you want to pronounce it. Like I said, I've always pronounced it Kaipo. Oh, another thing I did since the last part is I went back through the water passage where we fought the Octomam or Octomom or whatever it's called and I collected all the treasures that I didn't get. And I gained two more levels since then, I believe. Rosa! Exposed Rosa to Sand Ruby Light. Oh! Cecil, you're alive! How do you feel? I'm fine. I thought I had lost you. Weren't you a mist when the earthquake struck? Yeah, I'm sorry I worried you. Rosa, who's Golbez? He's the new captain of the Red Wings, appointed by the king himself. The king has not been himself lately. I believe Golbez is manipulating him to collect the crystals for himself. With Messidia's water crystal in hand, he'll surely go after the other three. The fire crystal of Damsian, the water, the wind crystal of Fabul, and the earth crystal of Troya. The fire crystal has already fallen into his hands. Edward is the prince of Damsian, and Rydie is a summoner of mist. I couldn't have gotten the sand ruby to cure your fever without their help. Hi. Hello, Rydia. Thank you both so much. Cecil, after Damsian, their next target must be Fabul. We must... Ugh. You have to rest now. Don't worry, we'll go to Fabul. But to reach Fabul, we must traverse Mount Hobbs, and the trail is blocked by thick ice. 
Can't ride you. Can you cast fire? No. Fire is the most elementary of black magic spells. As a summoner, I'm sure you can. Ugh. Rosa, stop. You're definitely not coming with us. Not in this condition. I'll be alright, really. As a white mage, I promise I won't be a burden. Cecil, Rosa only want wishes to be with you. Alright, we'll go together. Make sure you get a lot of rest tonight. Cecil, thank you. Alright, and this next scene is going to be the only part where you'll see me not use Cecil. That night, we are forced to use Edward here. Anna, I miss you so much. Wah! Just attack the water hag. Edward. Uh, Anna? You must fight Edward. And hit him again. Believe in yourself. Anna. One more successful hit and it'll be dead. There we go. Gurg. Edward leveled up twice. Anna, this can't be true. This is a dream. Yes, it is. And now you must go on. Goodbye, Edward. No, don't go. I love you. Please, Anna, don't go. You must not let Golbez have the crystals. Fight for your people, Edward, and give them the same love you shared with me. Anna, I'll fight. I'll fight for you. But what am I to do without... I don't know. All set. So our next destination is Mount Hobbs. Once I get there, I'm gonna fast forward to me after everybody's dead, because everybody's back alive now. Not much further to go. Here we are. Rydia, can you try chanting the fire spell? Rydia, what is the matter? Give it a try. I know you can do it. No. I... I hate fire. That's right. Her village was destroyed by fire when... Rydia, you're the only one who can melt this ice. If we can't get through to here to Fall Bull, more people will be in danger. Please, Rydia. Rydia, you've helped me. You've helped Cecil and Rosa. You have the power to help many more people. Fire! Wind, water, hot. Go, planet. By your powers combined, Rydia has done it. Rydia learned fire one. Rydia, you're incredible. Tee hee. I knew you could do it. Thank you, Rydia.
Alright, everybody is now dead, and I went ahead and collected all the treasures on the west side of the mountain, so now it's just time to head east. Coming up will be the first of many boss battles where we'll have to kill people in the middle of the battle. Yang shouldn't take too long to kill, though. Keep on moving. Holy arrows. What's going on? That garb. He's one of Favol's monks, I'm sure of it. Kaya! Hiya, what a. Whoa, whoa. Kaya! I guess that's what he's trying to say. Probably would have been better if I would have stuck Yang in the front row so he would take more damage. I'll have to do that in the middle of the battle. Good grief, a bomb! Let's help him. Alright, switch the rows, and we'll have Yang attack himself, and we'll have Cecil help kill Yang. I'll probably just leave Cecil in the back row after Yang is done. There we go. From here, just attack the mom bomb. Eventually, it'll grow really big and then explode. Whenever it gets ready to explode, I would recommend defending yourself. At that point, it'll split into six bombs. Three regular bombs and three gray bombs. Use a dark wave to kill off the three regular ones and then attack each of the gray ones individually. Shouldn't be hard at all. Probably about the only threatening part to this battle is whenever, uh, well, if it does happen, if all the gray bombs decide they want to explode. It's gonna explode, they said just a minute ago. There it goes. Yeah, if all three of the gray bombs decide they want to explode on you, it might do some pretty hefty damage. Shouldn't happen, though. There we go. Now attack each of the gray bombs individually. Or I suppose you could use another dark wave if you want to. I'm just going to take them out individually though. There we go. All down and out. You have my gratitude. Yang is my name. I am the High Monk of Fall Bull. I came here to train with my men. Now they are all dead, killed by a swarm of beasts, and they were Fall Bull's finest. My name is Cecil. We bring urgent news to Fall Bull. A villain named Golbez abuses Baron's authority to seize the world's crystals. Then he conveys our wind crystal as well. There is no doubt he easily seized Damsian's crystal a few days ago. The odds are against us. The only monks left in the castle are students. They stand little chance against Baron's forces. Golbez must have sent the monsters that wiped out your men. Then the attack is imminent. I must go. We will follow you to Fallbull. We would like to help. I am grateful. However, this does not concern you. But it does. I am the Prince of Damsian. Rosa and I are citizens of Baron, and this girl is one of many victims of our kingdom's recent attacks, which I have personally led. I see. I humbly accept your assistance. Let's go. We haven't much time. Fabo lies to the east of these mountains. Alright. Now it's just time to get to Fabo. As usual, just run from the enemies and whatnot. And 
we are just about off the mountain. Of course, we had to get random encountered for like two steps before we were off, but whatever. Alright, we gotta go up and around this uh, ocean here. And then over to the east a little further and we'll be at Fable. Imp captains and needlers that ambushed me, so this is gonna take a minute to get out of here. Dance to the music while we wait. There we go. Be there in just a few seconds. Run from those. They can turn you to stone. Oh my goodness, come on. So many random encounters. There's Fable. Well, that is it for part three.